Has work has working on the game made you more pro or anti transhuman? <laughs> we always had this joke in in the design team that the game represents all those different views. It represents the pro, the anti. Do people think technology is a good thing, a bad thing? And the big joke on the team was that because we maybe I personally suspected most people will be pro technology that for the duration of the game I would be completely anti-technology in fact I don't own a cell phone um, and so has working on the game made me more uh, I think maybe a bit but I did say as soon as it launches I can now stop doing that so. <laughs> <laughs>
technology evolves to the point where you can directly communicate with the brain, do you think that there's any possibility for you to control vehicles and that sort of thing with your brain? Or do you have any plans to incorporate that in the game? The technology already exists for that today. Um, so if you're a locked in paraplegic, you get a deep brain implant, and you control a computer screen and a cursor, and you can implement and control electronics. The question is, you know, why would you want to drive a car with your brain um, as opposed to having somebody just drive you around? It's just a cost benefit. It's not, nece it's not necessary. Um, hey, uh, so one of the things I've seen in all phases is that you've only really been fighting against security guards or our soldiers means, but in the other days, Texas, they had a lot of mechs, droids, and things like that, also mutants like resources and such. Are those going to be in the game at all? Because all I've seen is a giant walking mech that looks like it's going to be a boss and things like that. Marketing will kill us if we say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to know why you picked the names for the companies that you picked, like Sarah or the. Um, there are several companies in the game, and uh, Seraph is one of them, and uh, another one is called Tyone Medical, and um, another is called Pikus Communications, I think we've talked about yeah. all of them already. Um, and when, sometimes we pick names because of deeper meanings, um, sometimes, we did do a lot of research, and so basically one of the things for Seraph is we were looking at the Icarus myth. And we were looking at the idea of angels, wings, and we were looking at the sun and all those things. So some of the corporations in the game, their names directly relate to that myth in some ways, which I'm going to leave for you guys to figure out. Um, usually a lot of the companies, uh, sometimes the company name was just like flash of inspiration, but sometimes it really was tied to who they are and what they do and how can we make this uh, a kind of little in-writer's joke that... I'll let you guys explore and figure out yourselves because I don't want to give it all the tools. Oh, we got the time for one last question. This is fun, but we've got to wrap it up. So she's working on that right now. Um, and so Google started working on Off Lab that's in production today. It's going to be a really hard project. It's good. good. It's good. good. Can you answer your Sorry, question? We're not, we're not done. We're not done. We're, we're not care. done. We don't care about this. We've got, we got some problems. Yeah, we got our own questions. <laughs> um, all right, as the three biggest JSX fans in the room, we're actually kind of disappointed right now. Because we've been sending our ideas to your company for years. Week after week, we've never gotten a response. Listen, I send you I send you stuff all the time. I send square things. You know, I sent I sent you guys, but listen, it's been a long time. I've sent you guys Chrono Trigger Trance remixes, minis. I've sent some really good Fran and Balfier fan art. You guys don't respond to anything. Okay, and we sent you an awesome video that we feel like could have followed stylistically or whatever, and I didn't see any of that represented up there. And we've also been working on this video for years. Where is the video? Do you Where's have the, the video? We know, know you have, have it. it. You don't have that video. Where's the video? have it. I think I may maybe... Open up your desktop. I bet it's on there. It's, I bet you have it. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, I think I'm There's a panel. There's... Okay, that... Oh, oh recycle bin? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see how much better our video looks than whatever that was. Let the fans decide. <laughs> Alright, the panel's just ended. Obviously the fans loved what we had to say about the game. I don't know what Square's problem is, they cut us off. They Why would you us cut us again? Ridiculous! It's ridiculous. That's not fair, but you know what? I played the demo. They obviously stole our ideas. A lot of them. Didn't give us any credit. <laughs> Augmentations? That's us. That's yeah, all we us. We did that. Uh, so, basically what we're saying is we're going to get a good game, and now Fair owes us a ton of money, so I guess we win if you think about it. At least the game is good, but we go on looking like nobody's great. You ignored me when I sent you the Fran and Balthier fan art. You ignored me when I did my Chrono Trigger remix minis. You won't ignore me a third time. Crazy.